um, wow, this is probably the latest I've ever been on a Tuesday. Um, Bungie spent all morning basically saying that my internet sucked and that I needed to check my connection. But my son says it's them just doing some kind of maintenance and having some glitches. But it doesn't matter. Um, we are doing the opening anyway. So Solstice is here. Yay. Uh, I'm going to do the one thing that I've been waiting the whole fucking morning and afternoon to do, and that's go to Rahul and buy my fucking Sendent Alloy. I'm not even bother trying to level my gunsmith calibrations this w today because I'm not going to be here for the rest of the week, and there's no. I'll just blow the week off. It's fine. I don't care. Um, oh, I shouldn't be appreciative of what's happening, but at the same time. It's kind of like, it's not who I am, you know? It's like, you know that commercial, the Verbo commercial, where the kid's in the back seat and they pull up, and, you know, you hear somebody off screen say, they're, they're your cousins and family, blah, blah, blah. I'm doing anything like that. Um, instead, I am going to be. I'll save one for a pattern. All right, we got the alloy. Now I'm going to go to the helm. <clears throat> Pick up the one and only pattern that I probably need to get. Because um, I'm just, like I said, I mean, I'm not, I'm not chasing uh, these weapons anymore because it's just, it's just a pain in the ass to try and get. Uh, let's see, peace of mind, I think it was, I was working towards. That's a uh, pulse rifle. Um... I don't think there's anything else. Forensic Nightmare, you can get that from the event. Uh, I already have all the glaives that I can get. Everything else is class-specific. Oh, Explosive Personality. Yeah, Explosive Personality for a Grenade Launcher. Um, I already have a Sniper. I can't do traces. Grenade Launchers are un unimportant. Recurrent impact, don't care. Rocket launches, don't care. So it's either explosive personality or the peace of mind. Uh, I don't have enough space because I've been, yeah, I don't do that event. So, <clears throat> nothing worth here. So then we have this. So what have we got here? We can pick up Explosive Personality or the Peace of Mind. I don't know what the Peace of Mind Pulse Rifle is like. Um, I wish there was some kind of way you could see the sample of this. But I guess you can't. I guess I could go to Light GG and take a look at it. This is a kinetic. So it would contrast to my syncopation and it's not stasis, which is important. Yeah, let's do that one. What the hell? All right, so we got that. I'm gonna grab this. Um, we're gonna go here. Wait, I already went, duh. Don't, don't listen to me. Yeah, how long does Solstice last? Two, three weeks? Two or three weeks? Probably be able to get everything done the first few days. I guess I just go check out the internet. Destiny 2, how long is Solstice last? July 2022. Oh god, I found one of those pages. Game per. First, you gotta wait about two or three minutes for every ad to load up in the background. Then they're going to give you a paragraph of 
what it's all about. <laughs> a paragraph of when it starts. Oh, man. There we go. Okay. Wow, that was actually fast. In two paragraphs, I get my information. July 19th. So, yeah, you, you what? Oh, the start date's July 19th. Stupid head. August 9th is when it ends. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. That gives me about a week or so to get things ordered. I keep wanting to go to the Postmaster because I have something there, but I don't use that economy. So, yay, okay, we got an engram. Ooh, pretty, pretty. Um, some Compass Rose. The Kindling. It's an event currency. Oh, man. Complete limited time event card challenges to earn various rewards and make progress towards event seal completion. Event info. This is nice. I like this. This is a really nice, very well organized interface. I have to give them that much. Okay. Well, I don't have the inclination or the energy. <clears throat> Activity unavailable. Right. Uh, let's go to this thing. I'm just going to get this out of here. Used to unseal the echoes of latent nightmares in the sever activity, which I am not doing because that is way too many hand standing, juggling cabbage with my feet while whistling backwards the Star Spangled Banner, and I'm not going to I'm not gonna put my ass through that. It's just not worth it. I do like the deco for the tower, though. This is kind of cute. Very nice. Okay, we have bows, we have sidearms, we have linear fusion rifles, and then we have stasis weapons. Of course. Of course, because I just said I don't need stasis weapons. But this is where we are. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and grab my sidearm, which is a stasis weapon. And then we're going to grab uh, a bow. And then we're going to grab the linear fusion rifle, which I already have on my inventory. And we'll see how fast we can go through these bounties. I'm going to do... Um, no, I think I'm going to do Nessus. Just for this fuck up thing. No, yeah, I'm going to do the Cosmodrome. I can get the whole thing done in the Cosmodrome. <clears throat> just like Banshee always says, stay to Earth. It's less complicated. Pretty sure this act this event's gonna want me to slap around in armor that I don't like. So that's why I, I don't know. I don't I don't think I'm gonna do it. I don't think I'm gonna go there. I have the audio turned down on my TV, but I'm sure you guys are probably picking up background noises. So I've adjusted my field of vision, which um, is supposed to help me acquire better targets visually. I'll, my mind will, my eye will track <clears throat> targets a lot easier, and I'm actually noticing it. Of course, I am playing with my peace bond. That's the real big thing that Bungie doesn't seem to understand: is that it's not that we don't want to. Get it's just that we're used to playing them, so why would we want to try something different if it's in the same weapon class? You know, if it's in the same class, archetype, and category, there's no reason for me to want to, you know, move away from it. Whether you sunset it or not, it's not going to make a difference. Everything's battle level. I, to this day, regret completely dismantling all of my fucking black armory weaponry. Because the ringing nail, the kindled orchid, the hammerhead, you know, those names will never leave my brain. Well, no, I won't say never. Those are names that I'm going to remember because those were weapons that, one, took a shit ton of effort to earn uh, and get the rolls that I wanted. Oh, and Blast Furnace, thank you very much. Uh, and then it's like, 
now I no I longer have them. And I can't even pull, I mean, I don't know. Can I, no, I can't pull them out of uh, collections because they're randomly rolled. So, yeah. It's kind of fucked up. Really, it's the one set of weaponry that I dismantled that I'm like, fuck. Should have kept that shit. Especially because Iron Banner went battle leveled, you know? And that's where I use those weapons, in Iron Banner. How oh, I have not finished up the stasis? All right, the stasis is done. When did I get hung on that right, that right. Okay. All I gotta also say is this: in Raid Shadow Legends, if the servers are down for more than an hour, players get fucking you know appreciation packs for basically being patient and not like deinstalling and quitting out the game completely. Um, now I, I do expect you know, Destiny players to be a bit more mature than that. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, not even so much as a, hey man, sorry we, we kept you offline all morning kind of thing. You know, not even a, not even so much as a, you know, go check your, uh, go check your Bungie rewards page for, you know, a special emblem. The patient one. You know, that kind of thing. You know, whatever. It just goes to show you just how little they value the player. It's just, it's embarrassing sometimes. But here I am, I'm playing. Mostly I'm challenging myself to go fast. Have I told you guys how much I love the TP Diminution? This bow has never failed me. Look at that. Look at that. That's just savagery in poetry. Of course, it sucks like ass in Crucible, but uh, I mean, I'm not taking a bow in the Crucible. I don't give a fuck how goddamn good the LeBon arc is. I'm not playing with that weapon. First of all, I have this thing about poison. I think it's cowardly. Uh, secondly, I have this thing about Le Monarch in general. Is I think it's just a crutch. It's like people, you know, hiding their aim hacks behind the, the Yoden. Yet they go ahead and they nerf the fucking Skyburner's Oath. It used to be that if you hip-fired from the Skyburner's Oath, the bullets tracked enemies, or tracked targets. And that was seriously important. I used to use that son of a bitch in Trials. People would actually fucking be like, what the fuck is that there for? I was like, watch me. I mean, no, we didn't, like, sweep wins and stuff like that, but I cannot tell you how many times I was able to find a, a player hiding behind cover. Like, if there were, okay, say, for instance, you have this shipping container right here. You know there's someone behind cover there, but you don't know what side they are. I used to fucking shoot the Skyburner's Oath over the top of it, and whichever way the bullets fell, I knew that's where the player was. So then I could go ahead and ape around the corner with some other weapon. Super fucking easy, man. And what they do? They took it away. Why? I don't know. I don't know why they fucking gave it up. Maybe they'll bring it back after season of the haunt of the haunting. I think we're done here. Are we? Yep, we are. All right, that's not bad. That was pretty fast. Uh, let's see, it's only 13 minutes, and I was a sassy ass also along the way. Uh, let's see what we're gonna do next. Let's go ahead and uh, change out characters, and uh, let's go to the human. I'll have to grab my phone. Where is my phone? There it is. Oopsie. Ah, oh, fuck. There goes all that shit. Now I gotta sweep my fucking floor. Uh, gonna be out of the studio for a few days. I don't want to come back to happy little bug fun. So I have to make sure that all the food and shit that I've spilled on the floor over the last few hours is cleaned up. All right, so we got the human. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wait for the game to load on my phone. I shouldn't need to do an update because it's already done it. Okay, this is taking too long. I can at least go to the tower and pick up the bounties while I'm waiting for the bunchy to fuck itself and to pull its head out of its fucking ass. God. Last time this happened, I had to deinstall the piece of shit. Seriously? You're gonna play me like that just because? Well, 
Why'd you better fucking remember? I'll just pull an old Honko. I'll quit out. I don't fucking need to be here. I'm not going to be here for the next few days anyway, so I can just blow the whole week off. In fact, you know what? Yeah, I'm out. Later, guys. Thanks for stopping by.